cap and the comment. Hold on. I'm gonna find you in one second. I'm waiting for Don't Call Me White Girl to request. I see that you're doing, but I don't, I can't find you. Hold on. Uh, this is so annoying. I hate when they make me be the one that started. Because I suck at trying to find Plug in my charger right now. Hold up. Because y'all know. My phone is fucking die. Hi, guys. Don't call me white girl. Where are you? It's not Abby Boy. <laughs> I'm weak. Ah, there you go. Where she at, though? Get my filter right. There we go. Let me get my filter together. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me see. Okay, I was going to do bucket. We'll just go with this. Remy Ma. What's going on, girl? Look at my big baby. Your baby going to be big like this soon, getting on your nerves. I, oh, she's little getting on my nerves right now. I'm hiding right now. <laughs> hiding. Say hi, Miss Remy Hi, Miss Remy Ma. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? She got her baritone coming in already. I love it. She getting her mommy voice. <laughs> it's like her mommy. I love it. Uh, I you got to get out, sweetie. So, right, we're having I, first of all, I just want to start with saying, like, I'm mad hype. I was like, hold on. Who am I going to be watching this with? And it was like, I was like, oh, well, now I'm supposed to. So, this is going to be like our pre. No, because I told the them. Listen, at the freestyle thing, I'm like, yo, y'all didn't tell me that, yo, because you should. And then, because, you know, like, Kim was, like, more, like, fun. Happy. You was really coaching bitches. On <laughs> That's what I was looking for, because I always wanted to be a rapper. Nah, because if y'all going to be in here, y'all going to be rapping. I want y'all to be rapping, rapping. Like, who was who I had? I think I had Sierra. Sierra, I was like, listen, you got to be saying the shit like you really saying. Think of the bitch that hates you the most. That's gonna yeah. see this, and the shit she gonna be saying, like, look at this, look at that's who you gotta. I would have rapped for you so long, I'd have been like, yo, call Pat, call Fat Joe, I'm I need crying. to get a deal, d -d 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 -d, you know. I was I'm ready. Crying. I was I'm rapping, rapping. I wasn't playing. I didn't even get to see all of them. I've still been watching them. You need to see mine. Those real bars, real rap, real light. That that's you though. That's your pen. That was your pen. I went from don't what I said. Man, hold on, I said, it's don't call me white girl. What the streets needed. BT called me. I used to EBT it. It's all real shit, okay, right? Okay, okay, okay. I mean, you know every now and then I, I slide through the hood and, and, and I might purchase some food stamps from somebody. I still call them food stamps, but y'all know what I mean. Yeah, we on EBT debit cards. You, you yes, love I, me. I mean, it is what it is. Just let me swipe the shit, okay? Yeah. Here you go. Here's Here. whatever your percentage is. Swipe the motherfucker. Yeah, because that's that's what really changed from back in the day. Back in the day, when you was more, you know, handling it, the food stamps before it was EBT, it was 50 50. Now these bitches want 60, 40, 70, 30. But that's another topic yeah. for another day. Yeah, it's definitely more like 60, 40, 70. I ain't, I'm not giving you 70, 30. Now, no, we're not doing 70, 30. That's, that's going too far. I had, I ain't going to tell you, I had, I had, uh, I guess the proper terminology, I had a scammer trying to charge me. 60 40 was it was more like 70 30 but the part that was really getting on my nerves is because they kept tallying what it would have been with the tax are you serious <laughs> like, like, you know, so with tax it comes up bitch you want to pay taxes what you pay taxes like i what? promise you she's like what with, with the tax this is be, this would be the number Crazy. so that's the number that we're gonna break in half. You know what? I can't deal with you because as tax to the stolen you can't be goods stealing and paying taxes. Like yeah, you add tax to the stolen goods is crazy. Shout out to the boosters, y'all tripping. Crazy, right? crazy, crazy. So that 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 was the duh. It was clipped after that. No, but I'm hyped. They gotta link us because you know Rem's coming on the podcast. I am coming. So Change look, plug. so look. I was trying to set it up because I want to come out there. I want to be in your element. I don't want you here. Okay. And I want to come to your spot. Okay. So Pat, 
was telling me the other day, he's like, yo, babe, I got to go do um, Gilly and them show. Okay. So I'm like, where you going? Yeah. You could go over there and do that, and I could go see the homie white girl, and it could just be one whole big thing. That could be perfect. So, yeah, that is that literally happy. He wanted to go Thursday, which is tomorrow. I couldn't go this week, so we're probably going to be there next week. So I will be calling you outside right. of this and let you know what day we're going to be there. So, right. yeah, that'll work. That'll work. That'll that makes perfect. that's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. They gave us like some topics to talk about. Let me see if I care to listen. <laughs> I don't be following rules. Like, don't give me, they, they like me to do something. Not like, you. You don't follow rules. Me? Could you believe not it? You, I could, not you. Get said, really your dog. Still, she's angry. And give me that. Let me still buy stamps. Why would I not? Like, don't. Like, we're not gonna get strange on this live, y'all. I just wonder why would I not? Because I just want. Like, you think I like paying full price? First of all, in my neighborhood, let's just start with the fact that like a pack of oxtails is like thirty dollars for like four little. Things Our like this. Are so crazy. No, and then they small. Not even the it was like ones. no, not the big ones. The little the little the little part of the tail. It was like four of them, and a pack was like twenty seven dollars. So you know you need like four or five packs. Yeah, you think I really want to go over there and put my Amex in there? You really think I want to go in there and put my spot my, my my money in the machine? No, I that sell straight money is crazy. I promise you, paying anything straight money is crazy. Like when I. When I was locked up, I ain't gonna lie. I used to be getting into arguments. It's like, oh, please, I wear the same shit that all you rapper bitches be wearing. I said, yeah, bitch, and that's why you sit here with me. <laughs> like, bitch, you, it, don't, it doesn't work the same. When I'm going in and I'm spending my real money, and you're going in and spending somebody else's money. It's not the same. Yo. The same way it's not the same when I go spend my I would like an EBT card. I feel like. Yo, I, I can't that. wait to really get on the pot and talk because like, yo, anybody that know, any anybody that been inside know like, I used to say, it's be all you can be in jail because you could create wherever you claim you were, what you had, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? But for the most part, the only way you know bitches really get busy is by pics, unless their mm -hmm. name is big and your name was Back. already big when you went in. So Back. I know them bitches got real grand with the stories once they <laughs> sat next to you because they already know what's up with you. So now they're like, yeah, yeah my fur coat just happened to sit where you was playing cards at. Like, yeah, my limo picked me up. And I'm like, nigga, drop me to my bins. Like, I can only imagine. Now, see, my shit was a little bit different because everybody knew I was going there. It's only one max in New York. So everybody knew that yeah. I was coming before I got there. And it was crazy because I guess they thought, like, I don't know, like I was nice or something. And... The first day that I got a top, I woke up and this girl was in my cube. This is before they moved me into a cell. This, I was in a dorm. In a dorm. It's like, yo, I go on a draft today. Can you please give me an autograph for my little sister? Shut up. Bitch, fuck your sister. Fuck your draft. <laughs> like, yo, I was so like, I don't want to be here. I'm That's not crazy. Remy Ma, bitch. I'm 0485. Like, the fuck? Like, this is how it was. So... When I first got there, like it was people, they was like sending me um like cigarettes. I don't even smoke cigarettes, they were sending me cigarettes, sending me pins, yeah. perms, like, and I'm just letting them be know because I've never been in prison. Like, I I'm only watch us. So I'm like, oh, I hope you know I don't owe you nothing for this. You're not I'm getting not no food. I'm right. not fucking you. Like I'm, right. I'm doing like all the extra. And then like probably like two weeks later, they realized like she's a fucking bitch. We don't like her. Yeah. It was up since then. But yo, that shit. And it's like, I remember like yesterday, like people really loved you. So it really hurt. Like you could feel it. You know what I mean? When you love somebody and, and, and yeah. their artistry and shit, you go through shit with them. Like DMX died, I cry, real tears. Like I've always been a rap person. I never listened to R&B. So I remember, and my father went to jail when I was like five for a long time. So I just remember being really sad about it. Like, yo, this is crazy. But I kid you not, I feel like, things went better than I could even imagine, especially with Pat holding you down. Like, it was never no rumors and shit. It was never, it was just like, yo, he loved her, she good. The only rumor I think I ever heard about Pat is I heard that he tried to break you out, and I thought he was going to be in jail forever. But, but which I was so he, stupid because... The handcuff like, rumor, have remember handcuff. that? Like, yo, the room, the word on the street was this nigga went up there with his own cup key, spit it in her mouth, we getting you out today, baby, pull out pistols, you coming the fuck home tonight. Going. Where was I going? Nowhere. <laughs> I'm in Philly like, I want a fucking pet poof. <laughs> but that's, you know, so crazy. It wasn't something that was planned. 
it just happened. I pro I probably was like like six months before coming home before I started believing that he wasn't gonna leave. I used to be like, no, bro, I like you already. Like you don't gotta keep lying. Like yeah. do what you wanna do. Like I'm here. I'm not going nowhere. Like now, nah, like you here. I'm gonna be here. Like bro, bro. I whatever. Like no. I don't need you to be here. I just like because. Growing up, you 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 are conditioned to be a certain way. It's shit like that. Yes. Bitches don't even believe, like, you know, be there for they dudes like that. So yes. I never expected, like, you a whole rapper moving around here, like, go ahead, boy, whatever. Right. And we was literally a whole married, like, probably, like, five years. And I was like, you still coming up here? You crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, Ram. You crazy. Ram, you gonna think I'm crazy? I don't give a fuck. You know what I compare Pat to? What? Barack Obama. Let me tell you okay. why. Let me tell you why. Tell me. If Barack Obama, right, the way mm -hmm. the fucking people hated that nigga, if Barack Obama cheated on her, we would know that. You understand? Right. If Barack Obama even looked at a bit, if he ever was even at a fucking White Castle staring at cheeks, niggas would have <laughs> took that picture and it would have went global. <laughs> If the nigga it's cheated, true. it would have hit every blog. There's no whispers. There's no true. rumors. This nigga held it down. I'm definitely sure. I'm yeah, definitely nigga. sure the um the the screenshots would have been flying by now. Come on, they'd have been flying. Shout out to Pet Boost, and we everybody, every bitch in here that's single, buy your hair right now. Pray for a Pet Boost. I mean, well, listen, hold Come on. on before y'all start praying. Hold up, hold up. Let me ask and see a prayer. You gotta pray to be the realest bitch ever, because if I was oh, a whack funny. ass bitch. And you pushing it. That's too much. This, we said we wanted that boost. We didn't listen say we me. What about us? You, it's about you him. can get them, but you ain't gonna be able to keep them. Let me I try to explain people. Like I give my husband his flowers all the time. But let's be clear. If I had whack pussy, I was a whack ass bitch. You think this nigga really gonna be sitting there waiting for seven and some change for me to come home? The coochie nah. probably I wasn't up, up, up like that. Because you look like you're a little mouthy. So the coochie probably good. You like you give a little lip. Like you talk a little shit. I talk big shit. I feel like y'all just be around there fucking and rapping all day. We don't even discuss rap at all. No. Y'all don't that rap. Is, freestyle together, just rap. I don't know. Rap is off limits in my house. Like, we are so polar opposites when it comes to rap yeah. that we, we don't even discuss. Like, it causes real bad arguments. Like, no. Don't even, no, real bad. Like, that's serious. The fuck out. Fuck out. Fuck out of here. Like, that would be bad like that. So we don't talk about rap at all. If period. somebody's putting on R&B in the crib, who's putting on R&B first, you or him? We both put on R&B. We don't really listen to rap here. I promise you. I can't I can't even say me or him. It's like, what era are we going with? He might go a little bit further back than me. But, um, huh. yeah, it's definitely an R&B household. My, my daughter, my, my daughter, if you listen to rap, it's her playing some drill music or something. No, <laughs> your big daughter or your little daughter? My little one, the three year old. Yeah, she goes to baby. she goes to the big daughter's house and comes back doing TikToks, knowing all the drill songs. It's crazy. It's out of control. Mm -hmm. it's out I of like control. My... All right, let's get into the sister shit. I'm really excited for the premiere tonight. I love sisters. It's... What I like about sisters the most is that it just I relate to it a lot. I feel like. You you got one of them in your in your squad somewhere. You know what I mean? A absolutely. Well, I feel like the reason why I I, I fuck with you like that is because like you give me sister vibes. Like I never mm -hmm. had like my sisters. I got little sisters. My sisters are younger than me, so I was always the big sister. They came, got me. I went fuck shit up, whatever, whatever. Like like if I had a sister, like an older sister, or a sister closest to my age, like she'd probably be more like you. Mm -hmm. That's me. I feel, That's like, I feel like with this show, they try to like have each little different person. I don't feel like they, they got anybody as, you know, what's the yeah. word? I, I don't want to say ratchet, because we're not really ratchet. We're more like clatchet. Like, a little, like bit classy, a little classy, a little bit ratchet, like clatchet. Years ago, like back when you first came out, like Rem in the freestyle with the with the Henny, or is it, what's yours? It was be Remy, Henny, that Remy, they would say gutter. We more gutter, but I don't know if that's appropriate. Mm -hmm. That'll work. I don't care. Uh -huh. I pull slang from whatever ever I feel like you would ever want to go with it. We can go with gutter. Gutter's fine. Because yeah. this new shit is a little strange. Period. Uh, period. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Don't even. Let me see what they got on here. So, okay, real quick. Make sure you guys tune in tonight and like, what is that? Like 10 more minutes on 10 minutes. 
it is the premiere of Tyler Perry's Sisters. So yeah. if you guys are not tuned in, y'all watching us, but like with your other hand, grab your remote, click your TV on, and be prepared to watch this. this was with like 11 minutes, but we're going to watch that. We're going to watch so it together. Have, yes, we're going to watch it together. Well, we're going to watch at least the first 10 minutes of it together because um, that's what they have down here. So real quick, I wanted to, so they had something on here, right? Mm-hmm. It was like uh, Q and A. Da da da. We're gonna watch the first ten minutes. So it's questions that I I really want to ask you because you, we don't have the time where you get to ask me other questions. No, I don't really be asking you shit like that, like that. I feel like. don't. So I will say I want to start with what do you think is more important to your friendships, loyalty or respect? That's a good question. I feel like for me, it probably always was loyalty. That was like extremely important to me. Mm -hmm. Um, Like my bitches, me and my friends been friends for so long, like 20 plus. And that was the thing because when we would look at other friendships or other situations, it wasn't no loyalty. Like any little thing, you fall out, bitches get mad at each other, they post each other panties, all kind of crazy shit. So the loyalty was a big deal. Yo. Y'all post each other panties. It happens a lot. I've seen it too many times for it to be like, well, we don't. Girls fall out and they post like either her STD results or her panties. And the question is, when you, you was holding picture, that, what was to happen? Yeah, you had that in your eye class. That was in your. That was in your files. Waiting for some. See, I'm. I'm different. I feel like it's more like respect. That's so, why uh, I am now, Remy. That's why yeah, I am. You now. would respect now. Okay. Now, yeah. Because if somebody respects you, the loyalty, I feel like the loyalty comes automatically. Thanks. Or if somebody respect, if somebody, they can be loyal to you, but if they don't respect you, I don't know the fuck how loyal you are to me, but you disrespecting me. Yeah. But, which, to hit on what you said, I I can count on one hand the people that have been my friends and we fell out. That doesn't happen to me. Like, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm a pretty good judge of character. Yeah. Most of my friends have been my friends. I don't argue with my friends. I don't fight with my friends. None of that. Bitch, if we had a fight, you ain't my friend. Yeah. We, yeah. Know we made up and now we cool again. None of that. Because, bitch, I'm really trying to go back to that bit. Like, But, yo, remember? Remember when it was like a thing where you would be friends, but we would be super aggressive? Because we from the hood. Right. And I feel like people from the hood, like, we learn how to cope with shit. So we might be super aggressive to each other. Bitch, what's up? What's up? It's almost like it, we're playing, but it's kind of mm-hmm. rough, but it's kind of catty, but it's not. But it's like, you know, it's almost like sometimes you be getting each other ready for the shit outside. So you kind of rough with each other. But I feel like for me, like in this season, like I need a lot of love. So it's like, I ain't even, bitch, what's up? You know, whatever. It's more like, I love you. Nah. You're so like definitely, that's the I, I'm definitely. Well, I think it's because I'm a little bit, we a little bit older now, so I don't even, I don't even really talk to my friends like that. We talk about more real life shit than when I was young. It was more party vibe, not necessarily talking about parties, but it was just like we on that type of time. But yeah. also, I would never, I would never ever, even if we fell out, I would never tell anything that you told me a secrecy. Yes. I would never. um it's a lot of things that I just would never do because when you told me or when it happened, you were my friend. Right. And even if I don't fuck with you now, I still got some little piece of love to you. So people that do that, I just I just look at them crazy. And also, I wouldn't want my other friends to think like, damn, if I fell out with Ram, that's what she's going to do to me. Like, right. that, that's just not how, how I move. But, bitch, I will act like you're dead. Like, never existed. Like, literally, like, won't go to your funeral, nothing. Like, if I what's your sign, you, Remy? Gemini. So, it's two of y'all. I only know the one. I gotta <laughs> meet the other one. I like the first one. I mean, I don't know the other one. I'm crying. It's actually more than two. But, oh, I, um, I, I just, I just can't, I can't do that. You so, know, we have the Quimini thing. Aquarius and Gemini's, they go like this. The women, I think they flow. Yeah. <laughs> you know Aquarius? Yeah, I do. I, I know a bunch of them. I know a bunch of them. Do you not love them so much? They're the best. Hey, Gemini. They're, they're so special, Aquarius. No. 
I'm I feel sorry. like very partial. I feel like though to answer your question all the way is definitely probably respect for me, and I do agree. I think when somebody's respect 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 you, the loyalty is straight come. I'm a funny bitch, so people play with me a lot. You know what I mean? And it's hard for people to turn that shit off. And it's like when you funny, people play with you. It's like sometimes people disrespect you just because you like funny, play play. You know what I mean? Everybody when it, just like everybody coming to you rapping, everybody coming to me telling mm -hmm. a joke. So I get don't that come up come up to me joking. The fuck. Because I'm, this is a, this is what I do. I'm good at this. You're not. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is what I do. This is my thing. Okay, so look. So I have another question that's on here. So it says here on the show, Zanny let her friend's ex move in with her because he was going through hard times. Do you agree with that or do you think it's a violation? Um, I think it's crazy, but 2022, that's just how shit is nowadays. Like, it makes more sense. Like, in real life, niggas got to move in. Like, if you really love, if you really love him, you don't want to see him struggle, you don't want to see this nigga in his shelter, let him move in. Not your ex, your friend's ex. <laughs> Danny let her friend's ex move in with her? Yes, yes. The friends ex, he was going through something and and she and she let him move in. Come on, Remy. Stop joking around. That's crazy. That's I'm insane. fucking you up. I'm fucking him up. I'm assuming y'all was fucking the whole time we was together. They like, gotta be fucking. Sex. What the fuck? Because bitch, they when I don't like him fuck. no more, when he's my ex, he's your ex too. For sure. Those are the rules. I had to learn that shit the hard way. Those are the rules. It's none of that. Or you tried to be Only now, what, if, what if it's kids involved? I don't care. Fuck them kids. Right. Fuck them. Fuck the kids. The kids is involved. Okay. The kids. No more, okay. the kids if the kids need somewhere to stay, but not, not him. <laughs> you say, hell no. I bring the kids in. And that's it. And I'm tough. And I'm calling my friend and telling her that you tried to stay here. Yeah. Like exactly. this. All right, come on, more questions. I like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, Mo, yeah, Mo. He's here right now. Yes, the nigga tries to. He's trying to stay here. He, he got a duffel bag. He's crazy. Like that. That's me. All right, so look at this one. So it says here, this one is a little bit crazy. Don't get canceled. All right. Oh shit. Uh, it says on the show. <laughs> shit. Like what? One sisters, which is premiering tonight in three minutes on BT. Three if minutes. Guys not turn in. Turn on your TV right now while y'all still listening to us. On the show, Calvin revealed that he's not gay, but he does like a little butt play. Do you think men should be able to explore sexuality in that type of way? Yes, I do not think a man is gay just because he like his ass licked and possibly half of a pinky. Now, am I going to give you a pinky to the asshole? No. But if you tell me that you like a pinky to the asshole, I'm not going to assume that you like men. There is a gland in your ass that makes you come. You might be that kinky that you've already explored that. They call it milking the prostate. And maybe that's what you're into. Now, I'm not there in my freakiness yet where I could poke your asshole or lick right. it. But I'm not judging you for having that done. Okay, so I agree with that a little bit. All right. Because, first of all, I'm, I'm talking as non-married me. I'm married, so this really doesn't apply to me. However, mm -hmm. in the days when I wasn't married, Shit, Long. hold on. Let me adjust the first part. I'm not licking nobody asshole. Like that's just crazy. I, I don't even feel like guys are white good enough, like to even be playing. Like I'm just not licking your butt. It's not as manscaped, clean, nice looking asshole. I'm still not licking, not licking right. your asshole. All right. I even look, I, I'm I'm just not. Okay. I'm even looking at you crazy if you lick mine. Like oh this nigga's an ass. I'm telling everybody. So, no. Oh, yes. I, I, it's cool. I'm okay with it. If you like me, that's, that's cool. That's like if somebody be like, oh, you just talking to me crazy. Yeah, because you let me talk to you crazy. I don't mean you can talk to me crazy back. I'm not going to allow that. Exactly. Like, it's, it's a situation. It's, I just don't agree with that. But I agree with the part where I'm not going to assume that you are into men or anything like that. But right. if you let me 
And if you tell me that you want me to put anything in you, I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going to do it. Yeah. And I'm telling everybody. Remy, shush. No, you're not. I'm telling everybody. <laughs> he let me put my whole head in I don't. I don't think that I'm going to tell, but I'm going to definitely throw it in your face mid-argument. What? Like you, oh, you didn't say that when I put my finger in your head. Like I'm coming near. Nah, I'm see, see, see now that's dangerous because now he gonna feel like like he there. I'm not playing with him at all. I'm gonna act like it's cool. The second that I would have got in my car, you calling nigga? Yes! I, I gotta wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Now let me ask this, Rim. If now look, that's a finger and a tongue. What if this nigga say he with the strap? Bring the strap. I'm not doing the strap. That's a lie. That's, that's a I, lie. I can't do that. And Bro, I'm, I want to be progressive. I want to be kinky, but that's a lie, my nigga. That's a lie for me. That's a I lie. No, see, see, I'm different now. I'm navy. I'm in a relationship. It depends how much I liked him or didn't like him or how or like. You know how much point? You know how much you got a nigga literally by the balls. Like you ever be like you? You ever seen him? You be like why he with her? Those be the ones. <laughs> I always do <laughs> that shit. Unless she got bread and she paying for everything, or she's licking ass. Like you see those couples and it just don't look right. Like what is it he's seeing her? That's what he sees. And that's her. what it is. It is nine oh one, y'all. Hold on, let me tune in. Sisters is on and now. Oh, it's go time. Let's, Let's get it. See. Yes. You sit here talking about stinky fingers. Hold on. Let me see. Am I up? Why am I not up? Why is that loading me in? This is some bull crap. Can you see it on your screen? Let me see. Hold on. Be live. God, yes, you okay. want to copy everything. And listen, y'all can DM me too while y'all watch because I'm going to be watching the whole time and we can chat about it. I love this show. Somebody said, like, ain't no pleasure in ass play. Stop it. Yeah, I'm late to sisters, but I really like it. It seems so real. That's what I like it the most. That's what I like about no, it. No, I, I don't. I'm trying to understand. They know I'm into acting. Why y'all ain't call me yet? Like, like call like, Remy. Come on. Why y'all ain't call me yet? Like, I could be a sister with an A. I can see it, Rem. I, I can see it. But why do I You know what else we need? Sisters. We need your life story. Like, we need your whole biography. Because it's like, who doesn't want to know? Like, we need the ins and outs. Like, we need you whooping a bitch ass in the shower. We need the whole shit. Who told you that? I've been in you jail. Just know what happened. I've been you just know what happened. <laughs> I know where we go from where. I know where the fight spot is. Like, you just I know, know what happened. Like, I don't want to, because like I said, my, my pop did 10 years, so it's like, I bring up my little my little year, niggas like that's what's crazy. Depending what circle you in, because some people you say you went to jail, and other people you say you went to jail for a year. They're like, get the fuck out of here. That's nothing. See, <laughs> see, but see, I didn't go to jail. I was in prison. It's a big prison. Difference. Prison difference. It is a big difference. So, um, I mean, I, I'm I, anywhere I'm at, I'm gonna be good. Like it was to the point. Like right now in my life, most of my friends. Are people that I met while I was in prison. For sure. I established some real relationships in that motherfucker. My friends, my friends, and I love them. And oh, really? that's just that on that. And then mm -hmm. I have, that was my pre prison friends. And they, I still call them my friends because I've been saying my friends for so long, but they, they're not really. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you I, know what's up, though. Why you there? Oh, you absolutely do. That's what how you know what's up, for real. Did you get it? Because I'm still on the last episode. I'm looking for the premiere. It's not popping up there. Like, I, right 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 right. no, I might got to call my tech person. So I'm Wait, looking at you just said, who when they write me I called you a bitch? No man that's living. Oh, you gonna make me I'm going to be honest. Yes. I don't care about so the word bitch. Today. It, don't, it don't really affect me like that. And said he was here to this see his regular. That's so regular. I, I, and I told him that you were busy. I really don't be affected. I don't be offended. Nothing. Right, right. I know that. At all period. I think maybe let me get my tech person in here. Amina, <laughs> who's that? The baby. Like, what? <laughs> I'm on the last episode of the last season. I need to find this premiere right now. No, is that what I'm watching? I got it. I have not. Are you, are you guys all tuned? Do y'all watching? watching 
sisters. Oh, are y'all watching? Mama, help me find a premiere. Tune in. Make sure BET right now, Tyler Paris Sisters, the premiere is on. And listen, if you don't have it, you just put your card in, you pay your 10 bucks, and you can get it. It's real fast. If you didn't pay, pay your bill now. So I need to see the premiere on the last episode, too. So where's the season premiere, Marlon? I don't know, baby. <laughs> you hear? I don't know, baby. Who's the mom? Who's the mother? Me. Who's the mother? Yeah. I can Listen. drive everything. Listen, just start learning now. There'll be a point where they were there in charge and we're not anymore. So let it, let it be in charge. What season is on? It's the new season, guys, on BET. What are you talking about? Y'all watching? Y'all tuned in? Yeah, have to. Let's get it. And if you want to get into more of Remy and Don't Call Me White Girl, tune into my podcast. Yes, because Remy I'm going. I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming. so excited. Matter of fact, I, yo, I'm I started to tell you to bring everybody. Bring the baby. Bring Pat. Bring everybody. I'm thinking. I might. I might not even do that. I might have my own day because I can't. I be feeling like you ever feel like when the whole family there, you can't really just be used. Like, you know what I'm saying? I gotta be in, when Pap did, I gotta be in wife mode, the baby mm -hmm. did, I gotta be in mommy mode. I feel like on your podcast, I need to be in. Yeah, like that. That's how I need you. I mean, I feel like <laughs> that's, that's how I need you to be in. That's how I need you. Hmm. Like, it's legit, like, I'm like, yo, what do you don't want to talk about? And I got a feeling you like me, you don't care. So I, we just I don't. Talk. We I, don't I, I really don't. Like, I, my publicist be on the side, like, I'm like, I'm gonna fuck. What's gonna happen? What's gonna don't happen? get it fucked up. I got more certain questions I'm not asking. You know, like I don't, I'm not getting all into your business, but I just want to get a little into but, your business. My whole thing, be Remy, like we inspire so many people, especially with where we come from. I'm very open about me going to jail, me being a felon, because people need to know that you there's life after that shit. And it's like I didn't even realize that for myself. Like for a long time okay. after I made mistakes. I felt like it was nothing I could do because it's like, look, you're going to be a construction worker, a stripper. I had a gut. I got a food pie. Like I did. I wasn't really good with the hammer. So I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do? You know, people don't hire you with records back then. Now things have changed. Like they definitely hire way more people now than they did when I caught my case. You know what I mean? Well, well, see, that's what they do. They condition you to make you think that you are what your mistake was forever. Right. That's why when I do my show, The True Crime Story, which was our finale, was yesterday. I love doing that show because it shows how you could really fuck up, be in a fucked up situation, go away, lose everything. But there's always a chance for a redemption. There's always a chance for your life to turn around. Like you, people, you could be good your whole life. Your whole life do nothing but fucking mad good shit all day, every day. You do one fucked up thing and motherfuckers act like that's that's who you are Best. or and and that's and let's even be even more clear just because the motherfucker went to jail don't mean that they was fucking guilty like let's be clear the, the we black right is to convict yeah not to not to find innocence so right it is what and it I is for the fed case fed, fed, the feds have what like a 97 percent conviction rate Nin they niggas have a 99 percent conviction rate. yeah like so niggas don't, don't beat them. You just plead out. Yeah. You don't fucking fight exactly. them. Exactly. It don't matter what they charge you with if you did it. You plead the fuck out. So, but sure. And I feel like that's what my podcast. That's my thing. Like that's my number one thing. Like, I want to make you laugh, but I want to teach you a little something, and then I want to give you a different aspect. Like it's women that never touched jail, learning about it. They'll email me like, "Yo, I never thought about stuff like that till I heard it from you." You know, mm -hmm. some people look at like I hate when people say. Oh, he keep going back to jail. Like he must like it in there. It's like no, like that shit is really sad. No, up. They, they got me so fucked up that I can't really do nothing but legal that, shit. Right, right. And I, I gotta feed these fucking kids, nigga. Fuck some kids. It's <laughs> my favorite line. I don't even know how I got kids. In my next life, I'm gonna be the godmother for everybody. That's it. You done? You not having a boy? I have a son. He's just big. Oh, yeah, your big son. I forgot. How this old is, see, son? see, this is the thing. People like, oh, they act like they only got one kid. We do only got one kid. The fuck is you talking about? He the grown, they, right? They fucking smoking, drinking, sucking. They they don't even fuck with us. They come with us when they need some bread, they need some, some drip. So like, got two it. grown kids and one baby. No, there's four grown kids and one All baby. Right. Okay. I got one is mine and Pap has three. 
Okay. But they're all they're they're all ours. I think I've only seen his daughter probably. I think she was on TV, right? They well, we've had them all on TV before. That's the crazy thing. But it was like one of those situations where you were like, Oh, this is how y'all act when the camera's on? Oh, it's a clip for y'all. <laughs> it's a rat. Never with a camera cut. Cut. Never Look at Smokey from the Bronx in the comments. She got a son all caps. I forgot, Smokey Dim. I, I forgot. Smokey. I'm trying to keep the names of minds in my head. What the fuck? <laughs> How many kids you have? I got two. Beautiful, wonderful children. That is not kids, but as you don't even count two. Like two is two is like normal. They anything bad. Over, anything over two, you got kids with the Z. Like they bad. They bad. They bad. What? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Then they like fake suburban bad. So sometimes I like, got mommy, like what? Nigga, shut I'm up. Done. And my I'm daughter's done. obsessed with the city. Oh, when I go to North Philly, I want to go to North Philly. It's like, girl, shut up. You're from the suburbs. Cool out. We're going to sit right here. You're not from We're the safe. Hunt. Relax. See, see, my daughter, she's like, my son is a little bit different because he grew up like in both kind of because I was still yeah. moving around. I had my son when I was a teenager. So, you know, we kind of grew up together. With my daughter, she ain't never living nothing but mansions and skyscrapers. So when she goes, it's so funny. She'll go like to her cousin's house or something, and they like live like by the hood. Like if we driving through a neighborhood, like say I'm driving through the Bronx, I'm driving through, and she sees like a project area, she's like, "Oh my god, this is my cousin's house." I'm like, "Poor thing, don't know all the projects." <laughs> Poor thing, she don't got a clue. She don't have a clue, but she that's she's beautiful. Definitely knows the power of cousins, though. She be like, "Watch when my cousins come." I'm like, "Oh man, that's what's up." She 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 got it. Like it's it's, it's in her. Like that Brooklyn Bronx is in her in her. But he's it's, so it's, pretty, it's, and she got like fire in her you. eyes. Like she got some shit to say, some shit Thank to you. do. She oh, got she real powerful talk. eyes. She don't talk. She hold on, let me see. I mean, is it? Is it I, I missed it. Well, um, she talks a lot. <laughs> What's so, that sign, Remy? She's a Sag. Oh, shit. <laughs> Not, oh, shit. <laughs> she's a Sag. My girl's a Virgo. She's a Sag, and my son is a Leo. That's a right. lot. Yeah. That's Leo's a lot. Fine. The boy Leo is a lot. That's a lot. I'm surrounded by them. They're everywhere. Every, every, like almost every guy in my life is a boy Leo. Like, nah. I had like, one, I had one male Leo in my life. I feel like I need counseling now. <laughs> I feel like we all need a little bit of counseling. It's Shout rough. out to BT again, guys. Make sure you guys are watching Sisters. The premiere is on. We could sit here literally. I could sit here and talk to you all night, nonstop. Wow. And don't leave. Um, but I definitely, I'm thinking, what are you doing this weekend? Nothing. Maybe I'll come over this weekend. Maybe I'll just ditch them and get my drive and come out for the weekend. Come on. All I got to do is make sure my producer's on deck and we can rock and roll. Because I'm thinking, I had something, something was happening Saturday. I got to double check. But I don't The know chemistry was good because we real bitches. This I is just true. Over a week ago. This, listen, this is true. But a lot of times, like you ever meet somebody you be like you thought they was a real bitch and then you meet them you be like, I don't like this bitch. Last week, when I saw it, it just happened recently. <laughs> it's crazy. I was so excited. I was like, oh, I was so disappointed. I hate this bitch. But you know what, though? I got to remember, like, one thing I learned about this shit, like, yo, like, I'm selling myself. I'm blessed that people like me. A lot of people not selling themselves, Remy. They create this thing. So when you meet them and they're like, a fucking mouse, you like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know what I mean? On the internet, you rah all day, you know what I mean? Fuck this, da da da. But in person, you're literally a mouse. But it's because I can't knock the hustle. You created a character that people love it, you know, in real life, you pussy. But whatever. So I'll fuck your character up. Stay in your lane. Fuck out. I'm just, I'm getting to know that now. Like, yo, everybody is not selling themselves. You know what I'm saying? Down near to the town. Like, you know, you know, nigga, like, some of these motherfuckers don't even do the music for real. They just like use a machine and use people and you know what I mean? So let me tell you what happened to me, right? Thank I thank God I learned early. Because I used to believe that everybody everything that you said in the rap, it was true. At least somewhat. Besides the killings and this and that, like you you at least you at least 
like that. If you was put in that position, it'll happen. I used to think that everybody was like who they was because that's how I am. Like I never wanted to have to go somewhere and be like, all right, I got to do this live with Don't Call Me White Girl. I'm, let me turn this to Remy Ma. Right. Okay. Like, because one, it's just a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. To keep also, up Also, you could catch me on a bad day and I'm a well, like, like, that, that's one of the reasons why I don't lie. Because you'll catch me on a day where I don't give a fuck and I'm going to tell you, I, I didn't give a fuck. No, that shit was ugly. I was saying, telling you that because I didn't want her to feel the fuck away from me. Like, it's going to go left. So I might as well just tell you from the beginning that that's not really, I don't really like that. It's not cool. Right. So, I when I started meeting people, now I, I I would go into it knowing like this this is not gonna be what it what it is. So when I meet somebody and they really are dope, I'm like yeah. As yeah. opposed to the other way when you're going into it expecting what you thought this person was and then being disappointed. So now mm -hmm. I don't be disappointed. I actually be hyped. Like I promise you. I told like three different people, like y'all met him. I say I can't wait. We gotta go over there and do it. Like my nephew, I'll tell you about him later. I'm about to get him in trouble. <laughs> but he like, yo, I wanna go when you go. So we're gonna go. Bring him. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Nah, I literally like there's been times I do the podcast and literally niggas can't even start without getting mad drunk. Like <laughs> niggas really like you are not this person, nigga. Like, what the fuck? Like, and I'm so what? me still, bro. Like I'm Walking up to you through your entourage and all that, like, yo, what's right. up? You late? What's, you know what I mean? What the fuck, bitch? Right. I told it. And then people always meet me. They're like, oh, I thought you were going to be mean. Like, yo, I'm, it's nothing mean about me. I'm just, like, real. Like, the person, like, I'm a real person. Like, I'm, and I'm not that famous yet to be, like, weird. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just not, like. But I'm going to tell you what, know. if that's not how you are, no matter how famous you get, you never really. You never I hope be. not. I don't want to yeah. be like that. That shit is, I don't, when I see that shit. I be in my head like, yo, it must be a certain amount of bread. It shit just fuck. Like, it just turns you like that. Well, like, well, what, what I will say is, real quick, guys, make sure you guys are still watching Sisters on BET. Yes, watch the it. We, watch on right now. we gotta finish watching it, um, too. Tyler Perry Sisters is on BET, but um, I'm gonna tell you real quick. I feel like it has nothing to do with money. It has to do with other people. When you get this, this fame shit, it makes the people around you more crazy than you yeah like they like i did a song about it years ago where people like oh you change you this like nigga i'm the same person your ass changed because you're looking at me differently now facts that's like funny. you you feel like if it was you you probably be on some bullshit mm -hmm. so when i move a certain way i i do the same shit that i've always done like i didn't change at all but mm -hmm. then you start realizing okay if i would like to keep my success i want to keep shit a certain way you gotta cut certain people up and they don't understand that mm -hmm. there's people that even in a relationship right you wonder how somebody stay together for 20 years when at 20 years old you're not the person that you are at 25 as mm -hmm. right. you're not the person that you are at 30. so whoever that person you are that you with well they're changing and you're changing y'all have to still make sure that y'all compatible with friends it's the same shit yeah, we was homies. We was mad cool when I was 17, 18. We right. was still cool when I was 21. Bitch, we got 25. We started having kids. Like, I talked to some people that was, I was like, this way. Like, I can tell you everything about their whole childhood. I can't even have a conversation with them because we're on two different planets. Facts. Facts. We're on two different planets. And, it's, and it has nothing to do with it about me changing or I think I'm better than you. We're just in two different spaces. Right. And you don't okay. really mesh together anymore. And, right. and that's okay, too. That's okay. Mm -hmm. But people be mad because they see you at the awards. They see you with different um, celebrity guests on your show. And they like, oh, this bitch, when, when we was going to wherever, wherever, it was cool. But now she over here, like, nah, because now it's shit different. I'm different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and that's just that's just the the growth and as black women it's crazy because i feel sometimes we we're so hard on each other mm -hmm. like oh she this or she that like we're do you know we go through like we literally like 
I just try to explain to somebody what my job was. I'm like, yo, I'm a mom. I'm a wife. I'm a fucking counselor. I'm a fucking mental health therapist. I'm fucking security. I'm all these different things. Like when people call me, like whether it's my friend, my mom, my sisters, we, we put on all these different hats and we still got our own shit that we deal with. Right. And God forbid, you're the strong friend. Oh, like, my. It's, 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 oh, it's, it's forget or about. Or the advice friend. If you're, the, that's the friend I am. I'm really good at like, I'll give you that speech to get you going. When you at your worst, like, and that's why I started mm -hmm. sharing that with people and people love that about me. Like, it appears like like people really think I don't go through nothing because I give y'all like yo, get up, suck that shit up, put it in the pillow, keep it moving to the. But it's like yo, I wake up and want to jump off a bridge too, bitch. It happens to me too. It's just I'm giving you what I wish a motherfucker would have gave to me in my exactly. own language. Like I'm meeting y'all right where I needed to be met at, and that's why it works. I feel like for for at a point. Everybody started looking the same, sounding the same. Yo, Rem, it's to the point that the doctors, everybody get the same surgery. Like, it's all the same. So it's like, okay. when when I came on the internet, three lashes, meek braids, talking shit, side tooth missing, cracking a joke about my side tooth missing, that was refreshing to bitches. Bitches like, yo, I'm subscribing to that because that bravery, they respect that. They want that for themselves, too. You know what I mean? I could glow up on this motherfucker too, but I, I'm not. I was gonna say I, I, I love the veneers though. <laughs> you didn't hear the story. Bitch, you have to hear the story the about the veneers too, first. You, you have to hear the story clear. about veneers the veneers first. Oh, Y'all got. Why, why are we talking about veneers real quick? Let me just give a little PSA. If you get veneers, when they ask you what color, do not pick the whitest one. Go like four shades down. Yeah, That's what you're sure. making them look crazy, okay, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody listening right now, do not pick the whitest one. If they even give you that, they don't like you. They're not trying to help you. You gotta but go like Ram, four shades down. Ram, I don't know if you know this. Come close. Ram, they're doing the veneers in the basement. They're not what? doing it. <laughs> What? Ram, Ram, what? you could get veneers right now for fifteen hundred in the hood. No bullshit. Okay. They're called. I need to know. I can't, I can't even get one tooth done for fifteen hundred. Bro, my dentist called, is my daughter's godmother. She's been my dentist for twenty years. You cannot get one tooth done. They're called. Ask her about composites. composites. Oh, I know. Those are the people that come to her, and their whole mouth is infected. Yeah, and she has to pull it all out because it's yeah. not real. Yes, you gotta so, hear that story first before you. You gotta hear my story first, and then we are gonna have fun. Talking, we gonna have fun. And we wanna talk about it. All Listen, right. y'all watch sisters. Tap back in. Message me if you wanna talk about the show in the DM. I'm with that. And Text then me you wanna catch know if this weekend again. works. If this weekend's work, I'm gonna I'm pull up in Philly. I'm gonna come through. For sure, for sure. I'm, I'm gonna text you. I just sent you the eyeballs. So. This is gonna probably be your longest interview ever. We're gonna be there for like three hours. We're gonna have to put them in the parts. I'm with that because I'm trying to lead an interview with a job. I wanna I seen you on live the other day talking about picking judges for the battle rap. I'm like, do this nigga not see me? Like me? You pick you me? into battle rap like that, like that, like that. Oh, you from Philly. Listen, I love rap. I'm not mm -hmm. into battle rap enough to know off point whose names and the female battle rap. I'm late, so I might have to watch first before I can judge. But I know punchlines. I know who won out of this battle. Well, I have. I actually have a rule book. I have a rule book, so that'll help What's you up? like understand how to how to work too. All right, that's dope. I love it. I think it'll be dope. I think it'll be really. I'm excited, guys. I really. I promise y'all could stay here and talk to her all night. I love it. I'm so excited to come. I'm I'm so excited to come back. I'm like, yo, what are you doing this weekend? Like, I, yo, I, I, we gotta wrap it up because my cousins in here talking about tell her about my ice cream, Mona. Like, my cousins is in here. It's getting crazy. We I'm got, like, ice cream. Tell me about the ice cream. Why are you trying to like? Literally, just call me. I, I want to so. talk about my ice cream. I want you to taste it, Remy. My cousin makes homemade sweet it's potato homemade. cake ice cream, sweet potato cake cookies, all kind of shit. You, we'll bring it to the episode. Kasima, bring it to the show. Have it ready so I can bring it to her. I'm I can't done. guarantee you could come, but I can guarantee that I'll bring all your stuff to her. I love it. See, look at that. See, I'm she ain't changed. She ain't switching boy y'all yet. Huh? <laughs> so see, she ain't changed. She ain't switching boy y'all yet. She gonna bring look, ice cream. I'm still holding niggas down. Send me the menu, Kasima. I'm gonna send it to her so she can pick what she wants. Real quick. Why, why don't call me white girl? Like, you people really called you white girl? Like, in Listen, your life. People call me white 
for real. And then this is this is really why I don't call it right now. I felt like, like first, it's like this weird obsession with Marilyn Monroe, right? So I would mm -hmm. go to my peers' houses. I remember everybody first got their little apartment, their little house, and it would be like this big picture of Marilyn Monroe, right? I mm -hmm. never understood that. I thought it was strange. And then the Kardashians came out, and then people would have a Twitter name. Shaquita Kardashian, Rashida Kardashian. Like, I never understood that, right? So, like, for me, I'm very much so Dorothy Dandruff in the crib. You understand? So okay. it's like, and I felt like everybody was so, I'm 30% Indian, I'm Cherokee. I'm, it's like everybody was looking for this foreign thing, and I'm mixed, and, I'm, and it's like I'm not me. It's like my mother's black, my father's black. My mother's very light, my father's very dark. I'm very light, you know? So when I say don't call me a white girl, it's like, I really love being black. I'm real proud of this. So don't like throw that at me. Like, like almost like that's cute or that's something I should be, you know what I mean? Because I am a black woman and I happen to think that that's lit. Like, I really think that's lit. Like, the when we saw, I talked about surgery earlier. The number one surgeries are all surgeries that give you black features, you know? Like, I understand how Talk much about you it. the culture. You feel me? The lips. <laughs> you see these lips? Mm -hmm. These girls get fillers for these. I'm born with these, these mine. So it's like, right. yo, don't call me no white girl, bro. And not to mention, they look really bad in the press lately. <laughs> like, it's been so much bad press on these white people lately. Like, call me black, I'm a black girl. So don't call me white girl. It's not really about, like, hating white people or nothing like that. But it's more about loving being a black woman and spreading that. Like, yo, we come in all colors. We all black and we got to stick together. You know what I mean? Like, well, we got to bridge what? the gap. I hear you, but... Sister. It just, it just was like some of them light skinned girls, man. They made it bad <laughs> because yo, like, like yo, Remy. And this is the thing when we talk about the light skin, brown skin, dark skin thing, right? My followers, I call my followers my cousins. I love them to death, but they be like, yo, it's something called light skin privilege. You gotta watch what you say. I know as a black woman that the darker you are in this country, period, you. The girls darker than you have it harder. That's a fact, right? The darker you are, the harder you have it. Driving, getting pulled over. The darker you are, the faster you getting pulled over. That's just what it is. Right. But that don't take away my struggles as a light skinned girl. Like I had to beat bitches' asses. People think I can't fight. People think I'm scared of them because I'm high yellow. Like that comes. I wish that. Well, I I think we on our way to that now. Hearing each other, loving each other, understanding each other's struggles, and also understanding how. We are forced to be reckoned with together, the whole rainbow of us. You understand? Like, mm -hmm. niggas can't fuck with us when we a united force. So it's like, instead of, like, looking at each other like that, well, you act like this, you more, yo, you my sister. And I understand your struggle, How and I understand you too. You know what I mean? Because you know I had to fight all my life. Look at me. You know what I'm saying? I had to rumble. Them bitches was calling me all kind of white ghosts, Casper, the friendly ghosts, Michelin. And I was fat and white. So they used to call me the Michelin man, that big bubbly white man. I'm done. <laughs> they used to call me the Michelin man. Danny DeVito. Bitches used to call me Danny DeVito. I went through a lot, Grammy. You were short? You're not that short. I was. I'm tall now. I'm out here. <laughs> I'm out here. All right, we we gotta we gotta revisit this because I need to see. I need to I need to delve into your, your light skinness and, and see if you really understand the melanated, you the melanated challenges that we go through. Because I promise you, I promise you, make sure you guys are watching Sisters, which I love. They have all different shades of Sisters on there. I love that about Sisters. Um, Every, all, all colors on Sisters. Real good representation. I, I literally recall growing up getting into fights with, with girls just about the color of skin, like mm -hmm. I, I promise you, and I never even knew, or I don't, I can't even say knew, because I still don't feel like that. I never even was called dark skin until I became famous. Mm. I was always just brown skin, like it was like like because dark to me, like you had to be like more darker than me to be considered dark. So it was light light skin girls, brown skin girls, and dark skin girls. You definitely brown. As somewhere along the thing, it was just like. Dark skin and light skin. If you if you're not light skin, you're dark skin, and then that's it. Like oh, and you can't wear red lipstick, and you can't do blonde hair. And I'm just like, what is happening here? Like I was so confused about it, and I was like on this rampage. Like anybody likes to say anything crazy to me, washing up. Like yeah, it's a fact that 
if I was still this funny, loud, rambunctious person, but I was dark skinned, I might not be here. That's just a fact. Mm -hmm. The lighter you are, the easier these white people are to take you. My shit is brash. My shit is like, rah, you know what I mean? But it's not just white people, though. The, it's the easier for our own people, too. It's us. It's us, dog. It's us. Like, And it's like, for me, like, yo, like, some of this shit, you could only imagine the shit that people say to me. You know what I mean? And it's like, mm -hmm. it's so telling. Like, for example, I had got, when I had my daughter, right? I came home nine months pregnant, so I had her two weeks out of jail, right? So I was going to be cuffed to the bed and have her, or I was going to be having her on the street, right? So I got rosacea from her, and rosacea is like, mostly all white people get it, but it's no, like it hell. Is, it makes you really rad. Right. I don't have, like, good skin. I would have people say, oh, you got really pretty skin, pretty skin on Instagram, and I would say, like, yo, I don't have pretty skin, I'm just light skin. But that's my, my black sister, like, it's in your mind that this is nice skin because it's light skin. That's on your mind because I, you see the blemishes like I see the blemishes. What are you talking about? You understand? Like me doing this and me and so many different people, like we are a big part of that fucking problem. And then it's not just us. It's a lot. Yo, the Pakistanis. I had a Pakistani girl tell me how her mother used to bleach her skin. She dark black like my father. Like mm -hmm. it's it's colorism is a real thing. No, it's real. It's a real Please. thing. And we uh, we gotta we gotta del I'm about to make a list of all stuff. Make that we the list, Rim, because I have a bad memory in ADD. So make a list. Not in ADD. You gotta pick yeah. one. You can't have no. Most uh, of it's a lot of struggles. <laughs> it's a lot of struggles. That's where comedy comes from. It's a lot of pain in that shit. It's a lot. I love this. Listen, guys, we're about to sign off. Don't call me white girl. Remy, my I enjoyed this so 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 much. Make sure you guys are watching and tuning in. Stay tuned in. Don't change this channel until it's over. BT, sisters, the premiere is on right now. I love you. I'm going to see you soon, and I'm going to text you. Text okay? Me. And she means that. She's not just Hollywood text me. She going to text me. She got my number, bitch. No, I'm going to text her. Like, because we was doing the DM thing, and I'm like, listen, I can't do this. I can't. And then I seen that, and I was like, excuse me, man, why are you not responding to my texts? Because I text you. I, Rem, I felt so famous in that moment. <laughs> because I was sitting there, and I'm with, the, I'm in, like, in the influencer section. Rem walked through with 10 security niggas looking like a million dollars, and she stops, like, bitch, text me back. I'm like, yeah, I'll text you. You just don't text me back. All right, Rem, that's what I, I call can't. her. Rem, I'm going to text you, bitch. Stop. I'm done. I'll see you soon. Good night. Tell the baby I said right, good night. Lover. All right, lover. Bye, See y'all.